overall, it's just the program, it's really changed my views. Like in school, we kind of talked about this stuff, but we don't, you don't like go into as much depth as this program does because it's focusing purely on human rights. We've done a bit like for like, like in LA this year, we did a, uh, we like read the book Mouse, which is a graphic novel on the Holocaust. We, and we went, we did some project, like a project on it, but we didn't go that into that much depth about human rights and how people just let things happen. And yeah, like being here at the museum, I've learned about mostly so far First Nations rights infringements and just like how they happen and what we can do to stop them. Well, I think that now that I've been educated, like I've heard, we've, hear, we've heard Holocaust survivors speak, and now I know that how the Holocaust happened, that it was very real, and just how it happened. So, like, not everybody agreed with the Nazi ideology, but nobody spoke out against racism and hate. So now, knowing this, I want to be able to make a difference in my community. And even though it may be a small difference, like just pointing out, hey, that's not nice, that's not what you should, you shouldn't say that. Just by pointing that out, I, I hope to be able to make a change and to teach others to make a change and set off a chain reaction of people learning about, like, about racism and hate and how to stop it. Well, like I said before, I just want to educate others. Like, if, if I see a human rights infringement, I want to be able to just point it out and don't be a bystander like so many people were during the Holocaust and, resi and residential schools. I just want to make sure that something like this never happens again. And I think that it's our duty to protect others.